Have you ever tried to make changes within your worksheet to some of the data and then hit undo several times to get it back to its original value or try to do it from memory? Well, Excel has what's called a scenario manager that, in this case, I can keep track of my original values here for my expenses and also my revenues and then do some what ifs and assign them some names. Like, what if I'm going to do a marketing push and I increase my marketing by $10,000? Well, by that thought, I'm hoping to make some more revenue so I can create some what if scenarios and be able to update these numbers here without forgetting or overwriting the original values. To get started, first I want to select my ranges here. Believe me, it's a lot easier to do it now than later. I'm going to select the range that I like to create what ifs or scenarios on. It's going to be the expenses, again, if I want to increase it by $10,000 for marketing. And then the revenue, I'm going to hold down the control key and click and drag the revenues here because if I increase my marketing, I'm trying to convince the manager here to give me more money because our revenue should increase, again, if I increase my marketing. So after I select my ranges, the ranges I'd like to change or create what ifs on, Come up here and click on the Data tab, come to the Data Tools group, click on the What If drop-down manager, and click on Scenario Manager. And let me click and drag this out of the way. Now the first scenario I'm going to add is just my original. Okay, I'm not going to change any values, so I'm going to click on Add. My scenario name is called Original. This is how I can keep track of them all. Now it says, well, what values do you want to be able to change and what cells? Well, again, that's why I selected them first, so I don't have to come up here, click on the collapsible dialog box button, and then, you know, click and drag and select my range here. Hold down the control key, click and drag to select my second range. Then click the expandable button here. Again, if you had them pre-selected, you wouldn't have to do this, but that's okay. You can do it here as well. Down here, I can add some comments. And then when I'm finished, click OK. Then I'll say, OK, well, what values do you want to change in each one of these cells? These are the cells that are corresponding to what I have selected over here. Again, B5 is pulling in 300,000, and I can make changes here. But I don't want to change this. Again, I don't want to mess with my first scenario, because it's going to be my original scenario that has my original values. So I'm just going to bypass it and click OK. There's the first original scenario. Now I want to go ahead and do some what-if scenarios. I'm going to go ahead and click Add. This is going to be, let's say, my marketing push. And then here, what range of cells do you want it to affect? Well, the same range here. I'm not going to change at all. And then add some comments. Then when I'm finished, I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Then it's going to say OK. Now what values do you want to be able to change? Well, again, this is a marketing push by $10,000. So this cell right here that has 50,000, it's in cell B8. I'm going to come over here to B8 and increase it by 10 and make it 60,000. Now theoretically, if I'm asking money from my manager here, there's got to be a turnaround on $10,000, so I'm going to increase the revenue here, and those are in cells E5 and E6. So let me scroll down here. E5, I'm projecting or doing a what if. I, if I increase the marking by 10,000, perhaps this will go up from 400,000 to 450,000 for Team North and Team South, maybe 440,000. Click OK. I have my two scenarios, OK? And you can keep on adding and making other changes, but let me show you what I've got so far. I have my original that you see here, but when I select Marketing and I click Show, it updates and makes the changes for me. So it increased it by 10,000 to 60,000, so my total expense here is 420,000, and then also increased my total revenue. Now, if I don't remember what my original values were, I can come up here and select Original, click Show, Removes the 10,000 because it decreased the marketing by 10,000 back to its original value 50,000. Pretty cool. So again, you can go ahead and click Add. Do another scenario saying, well, what if we really increase marketing? Marketing by 20K. In fact, that could just be the name, and I don't have to type in any comments down here. Click OK. Again, scroll down here to cell B8 because we're talking about marketing and increase it by... 20,000, which would be 70,000, and then do some what ifs. Well, probably Team North would be up to, I don't know, 500,000, then Team South would be up to 400,000. Click OK. Now I have several different scenarios here. I've got my original, have my marketing push, click show, update some numbers, and then by 20K, click show, my numbers increase. Now this is all fine and dandy, except that this thing is bulky and it gets in the way here. Well, not in the way here, but what if I had more data over here I want to be able to see? Well, you can actually add to your Quick Access Toolbar a little drop-down scenario manager that you can click and select your scenarios instead of having this big bulky thing in the way. Go ahead and close out. Now, if I close out, it's not going to get rid of the scenarios. No, you actually can come back here to the Data Tools group, click on the drop-down what if, and click Scenario Manager, and they're still there until you actually select one and delete it, okay? I'm going to cl click Close. I'm going to customize my Quick Access Toolbar so I can get that drop-down scenario manager right click it, come down and left click on customize. I'm going to change it from popular to all commands, scroll all the way down to my S's. 
I've got my scenario manager and my scenario with the little arrow. The scenario manager just gives me that big block up screen again. If I add that to my quick access toolbar, at least I don't have to go to my data tab, to my what if, down to scenario manager. So we'll double click and add that. But I also have my scenario drop down. When I double click, it'll actually give me the drop down of those three scenarios. So I've added both. Let me pull that back up, click OK. And there we go. There's my drop down for my scenarios. There's marketing, changes the numbers. There's original, changes the numbers. So much easier. And then, of course, if I want to delete them, I've got my scenario manager. Click on that button. It gives me the big blocky screen here that I can select and delete and click close. And when I click my drop down arrow, I only have two. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.